This training module will introduce you to the working principle of Coriolis mass flow meters. The optimal installation orientation is a vertical installation with upward flow. Gas bubbles can escape from the meter and pipework, and the system is inherently self-draining. As the meter depends on the phase shift to measure mass flow rate, the measurement is independent of flow profile. This means that no upstream or downstream conditioning straight pipework is required. Supports should be installed symmetrically, either side of the flow meter, and close to the process connections, but not directly on the meter housing. For liquid measurement in horizontal orientation, the transmitter should be above the sensor to avoid any gas bubbles remaining in the sensor. For gas measurements in horizontal orientation, the transmitter should be below the sensor to avoid any condensates to remain in the sensor. Installations at a high point in the system can result in the formation of air pockets which can lead to appreciable inaccuracies. These may not always be at the highest point in the pipework, but may be where the pipework can naturally trap gas pockets due to pipework rise and fall. Another installation to be avoided is immediately upstream of a free discharge in a descending flow and should therefore be avoided. In case of gas measurements, the lowest point of system can result in problems as condensate in the gases might affect the measurement. Downward flow is possible with the introduction of an orifice pipe reduction or a valve, preventing the meter from draining during normal running. Back pressure of 0.2 bar, which equals hydrostatic water pressure of two times the mass, must be assured to guarantee correct measurement. In case of higher viscosities or very high flow speeds, the back pressure should be 1.5 times the pressure drop of the meter.